Okay, we're recording. So welcome everybody. I'm so excited everybody's here. Um, this is, what is today? March 20th. Um, so there's some new people. Um, you may not all know me. My name is Alana Williams. Um, I am the founder and CEO of Team Be The Change. Um, and so we just, Amy, Amy is my success partner. And so we've been kind of pairing up with um, team calls lately. Um, we did um, uh, team cup month together last month and it worked out really well to just have more people on the team call. So this is kind of just spiraled and growing and I love it. So you guys are welcome anytime. Um, so tonight, um, what I wanted to talk about was, um, following up in, in two different aspects. So there's like the really traditional, like, yes, always follow up with people that you are starting conversations with and who you are, you know, working on getting started. But there's another really important follow up that sometimes gets lost. Um, and this is, um, so Amber actually brought this up last night when she and I were talking, um, and something that sometimes we forget about is following up with people who are already our customers and why it's so incredibly important for customer retention um, to continue to follow up with those people and check in with them and make sure that they are um, getting what they need from you, that they're having a good experience, that they're enjoying the products, that they're not having any issues, that they're not having a problem that may seem really minor to you that you can help fix, but might like derail them if not addressed. So, um, First, like, I just want to go through the usual, like, following up with people who you are currently trying to um, get started and why that's super important. So, of course, like, when we, when we talk to people, I know that sometimes if somebody says no, that you just want to run away and you're like, okay, fine, like, I'll never just talk to you again. But um, I've been a coach for a year and a half and I have people now, like, who I talk to six months ago, a year ago, a year and a half ago, um, that are just now, like literally there's a girl who I just um, had join our Clean Week group this month who commented on my post after I'd, I literally messaged her like once a month. And I'm like, hey, we're doing this, are you interested? Like crickets, like have not heard a single thing from her. Finally, she commented on my post that she's, she's like, okay, I'm ready, let's do this. And I'm like, whoa, awesome amazing you know and this happens you know and the longer you're in this business the more this will happen to you um so as we you know obviously we in our brains you know yes we just want to run away but it's so 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 important until somebody says to you like please don't ask me anymore ever keep following up with them because it's always a not right now until they say that to you and probably even then if they say that to you it's probably okay in six months or a year to go back and say, hey, like, what's up? Maybe you're interested now. Um, and so every time we put it out there to somebody, we have no idea where they are in their life. We have no idea what they're going through. We have no idea, you know, what situation they're in, what mindset they're in. Um, maybe it's a bad time when you asked them six months ago, and maybe it's an awesome time now. So it's so, so, so important just to keep asking and keep asking the same people, you know, don't be annoying. Don't be like every week, but you know, once a month, every couple of months, every, you know, several weeks, just check in and, you know, don't always, um, don't always, you know, come out of the gate with Beachbody. Continue to have conversations with them in between where you're talking about other things and you're engaging in their life and you're commenting on their page and you're talking about their pets and you're talking about their kids and you're talking about their job. Um, you know, so they, they understand that it's not just about Beachbody. It's about you and your relationship with them. Um, so that's one type one of following up. So type two, which is, um, I really wanted to get into with why this is so key and critical. So actually I want to tell you a story. Um, I, um, okay, well, let me just start out. So the second kind is following up with your customers, people who are already your customers. And the reason this is so important is that some of our best working coaches, are going to come from people who already know and love the products and who already have experience with it and who already have a transformation story because they've been a customer. Those are the people who 
when they join as a coach and they take on coaching, they are going to be rock stars because they already know what the products do. They already have their own experiences with them and they already love it so much that all they want to do is just talk about it. Um, so in order to get people to that point, we have to continue to follow up with them when they are new customers and especially when they're new customers. Um, so something that just recently has happened to me is I've like, I know this has been, this has been told to me a lot. Like this, you know, people who are your customers are going to make amazing coaches. They, you know, this, this has been, I've heard this a ton. And so, um, just recently I started, um, putting out, like I put out a, a new coaching. I was, I've been rethinking, um, how to better engage with my new customers and how to better, um, introduce them to the concept of coaching and how, you know, it's kind of a natural progression and for them to just, you know, to introduce it to them early so that they know that it's an opportunity. And so that it's kind of there in the back of their mind. Um, so there's a girl who I, um, had talked to for a while and she's like, no, like this is like, basically it started out with no products, no, absolutely not. No groups. Um, no, it's too expensive. I don't have time. Um, and then I invited her to a clean week group and she signed up with the 14 day trial or actually she didn't even, I sent her the link for the 14 day trial and she's like, and just like out of the blue. And she, I guess she'd been watching me for a while because out of kind pretty much out of the blue to me, she's like, I decided to go with, um, the all access beach beyond beach, beach body on demand, um, full year challenge pack, like out of the blue. And this is a girl who's like, no, I'm getting married. Like I have, you know, funds are really tight and no, I don't want to do the products and no, no, no. And so, you know, and I'd been continuing to talk to her and, you know, engage with her and doing the follow up to that point. And so then all of a sudden she signed up and I was like, holy moly, this is crazy. She is turning into the biggest rock star. Like she's, she's into the personal development and all these things. And what I have done is I've actually put together a mailing list. So I, um, I do email marketing as well as part of my business. And so I, um, I have, um, a membership with convert kit, which is a like email, email marketing service. And, um, and so I've set up this, it's called a sequence where I go in and I write out emails that, um, I schedule to send to people. Um, so they, they sign up for it and immediately after they sign up, they get their first email a day later, the system automatically sends them a second email. And so I've set up four emails in the series. So the first one talks about like beach body on demand. I included a link to a video that I made, how to log in. Um, I showed them the fixate video on containers 101, like within the video. So I know they've watched it. Um, video or day number two, they get an email about mindset and you know, the importance of like personal development. And I recommend some podcasts and I send them a link to my, like I've created a personal development book list. Um, and I send them, you know, there's a link to that in the email. Um, day number three, we're talking about nutrition. Um, and day number four is what's next. And so then in that email, I send them, um, I talk about the opportunity of coaching and I say, it's available to you if you're interested. Keep an open mind. And actually I got this from Amber. She said, <laughs> um, who, um, you know, and, and so Amber and I had had this conversation that, you know, keep an open mind, you know, put a couple of posts out there on social media, see what happens, see how people respond, you know, tell people what you're doing and just, you know, be open about it, you know, no obligation, of course, but if it's something you're interested in, um, let's talk. And if you want to just, you know, get a better handle on what it is to start with, here's the link to sign up to my series of new coach emails. And so then I've also created a series of new coaching emails that I go through. And basically it's like, you know, I talk about, you know, all the things that we talk to our new coaches about. So with all that being said, that was a little bit of a sidetrack, sorry. <laughs> um, but the, the reason that it's so important to follow up is because I've had two conversations on the phone with her and she's um, like, you know, she's like anybody who starts a program who maybe hasn't done a lot of this before, who 
is a little bit hesitant because maybe they've, you know, tried and failed in the past and we all get in our own way, but to be there for somebody and to talk to people on the phone and to address their concerns and say, Hey, like, listen, I've been there. This is what has helped me. Um, they are going to be the people who truly appreciate what this company does and what the accountability does and what having a coach does. Because every time we have a conversation, she says to me, this is amazing. My mindset is completely shifted. And twice now I've said to her, you know, you are going to be an amazing coach. Like I would, if you're interested, um, I think you would do phenomenally well and you'd be able to help a ton of people. And today she said to me, I think that's a really fantastic idea. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's why that's, that's how we get people engaged. Um, you know, we show them that we are supportive of them. And then when they become coaches, they're going to turn around, they're going to be supportive of their people. And we're all going to just replicate and duplicate the success that we have because when we follow up with people and we show them that they're important, regardless of whether it's before we get them started or after, um, they are going to turn around and do that exact same thing when they start helping their own people. Um, so that's sort of what I have. I know there were some other people who had um, things to add, so I'm going to let you guys go ahead. Amy, did you want to go first, or do you want me to go ahead and? Uh, either way, you can you can go. Okay, I just have something quick to um, to add. Um, so, what made uh, me and Alana bring this uh, topic up for tonight was actually a interaction that I had um, with a customer that I signed up a few weeks ago. So, she um, is a mother of I think she's got six kids. I want to say six kids. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Can you guys see me? <laughs> Um, she's got a mother or she's a mother of six kids and super, super, super busy. She is a stay at home mom, but I mean, you've got six kids. You're, you're as busy as a full-time mom with kids. Um, but she's, uh, she knows me because we both have twins that are the same age. So she's kind of dealing with the same struggle that I am right now with, um, losing weight after like twins just ravage your, your body during a pregnancy. So she has been watching silently in the background um, to all of my posts and then um, out of nowhere just kind of was like, okay, I need to know what it is that you're talking about on all of your posts. So I got her signed up. She was really gung ho excited and she was asking me all kinds of questions and, um, you know, wanted to go like balls to the wall and wanted like the top program. I, she isn't working out and wanted to do 80 day obsession. And I'm like, maybe you should start with something a little bit, you know, uh, more beginner friendly. And she's like, no, I, I don't care if I have to modify, I'm going to do this and I'm going to, you know, start this program. So she's all excited. And then all of a sudden ghost, like I'm sending her messages and I am not getting anything back. Well, um, if you guys listened to our last week's team call, um, I kind of got like a, like a ego hit <laughs> last week from another friend. So when this girl ghosted on me, I was like, oh my God, like those things that the other person had said to me was like spiraling in my mind. And I'm like, oh my God, what if, you know, I shouldn't have done this. And what if Shakeology is not what I, you know, think it is and, and as great as I feel like it is. And I just got really like negative on my mindset. Well, I remembered some things that Alana has told me about not letting other people's um, uh, things that are going on in their life and their opinions um, affect your mindset on what you're doing. And I kind of like was like, okay, bad thoughts, get the heck out of here. We're done with that. And um, I reached out. Now, um, there was a Beachbody Champions post, um, and I can't remember who the coach was, but she had said, if you, if you have customers that are ghosting on you, don't be afraid to send them a message and say, hey, I don't know what's going on, but either way, could you, you know, just send me a message back and just let me know. Like if you are interested, let me know. If you don't want to talk about this anymore, just let me know. Cause I don't want to sit here and, you know, keep sending you messages bugging you. They said, don't be afraid to do that. So that's what I did. I'm like, Hey, I'm worried about you. You were really excited and now you're not, you know, responding back. I just want to make sure things are okay. Could you just let me know either way? Well, she finally got back to me and what had happened was she was busy. She's like, every time I saw your message, I was like at a stoplight where I couldn't respond or I was, you know, picking my kids up from school and my hands were full and I meant to write you back, but I hadn't. Um, and then she went into, 
I tried Shakeology the way you told me not to, mixing it according to the directions on the package, and it was gross. And then I turned around and did one of the recipes that you did, and I absolutely love it. Um, she went on to tell me that she hadn't really started the, her workout program yet because she was still trying to find her way with her nutrition plan, and she felt like it was overwhelming to do both at the same time. Um, but she has been doing her nutrition plan and her Shakeology, and that she felt special because I kept reaching out. Even though she hadn't written me back, she was like, I know this person cares. I know this person cares about what I'm doing and that it wasn't just a sale. It wasn't just, a, I got you to you know, buy Shakeology, poof, you know, you're on your own. Um, she felt very, very, very pleased and um, very special that I had reached out to her. Um, on the other side of the coin, when I was a new coach, I had a... Um, a kind of distant family member who had ordered, done the whole challenge pack. She was super excited. And then I kind of let her do her thing. Like I would reach out to her and she wouldn't respond. So then I'd be like, oh, she doesn't really want to talk with me about this. And I would leave it alone. Well, she was struggling. She was having a hard time finding a recipe that she liked with Shakeology and the workout was harder than she thought it was. So she was beating herself up. And because I just kind of let her stew in her own thoughts and I didn't keep reaching out. I lost her as a customer. She basically said that, um, she didn't think that she was capable of doing it. And she kind of cut all ties with that aspect. And it makes me feel really bad as a coach. Um, I know I am calling myself out. I did a bad job there. Like that was not me being a coach that I, I sold her something and I left her to ground. So don't do that. <laughs> That's the, the moral of today's uh, team call is um, just it following up is not for new cut, just new customers. You need to follow up with, customers you've signed up, customers you've had for years. You need to be on top of making sure that you're checking in with each and every one of them because if you're not doing that, then what are we doing? Like, what are we doing here as coaches? Because we're not being a coach if that's, if that's what we're doing. That's it. That's a really, really good point. Um, I've had different times when um, – I've gotten pretty good about following up with new prospects and whatever. And then I realized like, Oh my gosh, like oh, my poor challengers, like I need to make sure I, it, it's just a matter of like making sure everything's in balance. You know, you want to continue to build your business and bring in challengers or new coaches, but like we definitely Amber, like you said, like we owe them as a coach, like we, we promised them that we're going to be there for them basically. And, and um, it's, it's an important part of being a coach to do that following up with your challengers and, finding a good um, system, like whatever works for you to remember, like whether it's an Excel spreadsheet or a three ring binder, um, you know, making a note about like when you reach out to them and like trying to make a point to go back through and um, follow up. And I, I actually, this, what I was going to share, I Amber was very, very similar to yours, which is, um, and I shared it a couple screenshots in my March Madness, but it was, um, it was this challenger who, who, actually she's been a free group challenger and she was totally rocking it. Um, really, really wanted to do beach body and was so curious about Shakeology. I sent her a sample and um, this was like a couple of months ago and she really, really wanted also like a great attitude. And she was encouraging other people in the group. And I'm like, okay, this girl's great. And then it's very similar. She kind of ghosted <laughs> and I'm like, all right, what's going on. Um, so I reached out to her a couple times, no response. Um, and just tried to give her her space, but also just like genuinely reaching out or commenting on her post. And then she replied today and what she said was like really, really nice. And basically she's going through a lot right now in her life. And, and then she just said like, um, she said, you know, don't give up on me. Thank you for reaching out. She said, I, I think God put you in my life for a reason because I would sink. And I mean, like, you know, I don't, I'm nothing special like but when we do those things like we reach out to people sometimes it results in a sale but sometimes it just results in being like a nice person when someone needs it and maybe when she's ready she will sign up or and I know me personally when when someone reached out to me when I first signed on <coughs> to be a coach it was after I had said no repeatedly for various reasons. And then they reached out to me at like the exact right time when I was at my rock bottom following um, a really hard, something really hard that I went through. 
they reached out and I, I literally don't know where I would be if, if, if someone hadn't followed up with me in the way that they did. Like I was rock bottom, not getting out of bed in the morning, super depressed. And they reached out actually like pretty much directly with the coaching opportunity. Like, Hey, I, I saw that you were doing 21 day fix DVD. Like, do you want to be a coach? And I was like, okay, like what, like, you know, and I, I, kind of latched on. You just never know like when your follow-up is all of a sudden going to be the one that, um, that people need to hear. And it can really, really change lives. And it, as great as it is to get a sale and success club points and whatever, like sometimes, um, sometimes just reaching out and following up with someone like on a personal level is just, you know, just as important and you never know what it's going to turn into in the long run. Um, but Alana, I, and, uh, Amber, I'm like really glad you guys mentioned following up with our challengers too, because that's like such an important part of being a coach. And then also we want our people to duplicate that because our, our fabulous challengers can end up being our fabulous coaches. And if they can duplicate that and reach out to their challengers like we do, then we're going to have an amazing team. So yeah. Something that I used to do for following up, um, that I really need to kind of get back into again is I need to, um, or what I, what I would do is I actually kind of went through alphabetically every, um, like I had a, I had a list. This was when I didn't have many people. So I had like one or two people to follow up with like every day of the week, but it was like Monday I do like a through, you know, D or something, and then E through M the next day. And I just take like a, a chunk of the alphabet, like similar to like some of you are in um, like the ABC challenge group that we do, where we do like we check in on people's pages, um, one letter of the alphabet every day of the week. Um, and we just kind of go through the whole alphabet over the course of a month. And so similar, um, you know, everybody who all of the leads that I've gotten, you know, first name, last name, however you want to divide it up. But um, you know, go through and check in with all of your customers and your challengers. Um, you know, whoever's name starts with that letter that day of the week, that's on your list of connections to make that day, you know, regardless of whether they've already signed up or regardless of if they're, you know, just a customer or, a, you know, a potential customer in a challenge group, but make it a habit and have some sort of a system to um, to go through so that you're not missing anybody. And then anybody who gets added in, they just add it into that day of the week. You check in with them, you know, once every week, every couple of weeks, um, you know, depending on how many people you have, you may end up, you know, checking with people every two weeks. But still, that's better than maybe what we've been doing. Like, I'm sure there's some people that I haven't checked in with since they signed up as a lead. Like, you know, it's, it's, and, and then another thing that um, just recently happened, I went through, um, following up with some of my, my leads that I'd gotten. Um, and I've started sending text messages to people. Um, I think Amy and I talked about this. Um, but rather than, cause I was sending out emails. Uh, Maybe you can clarify what you mean by leads just for some of the newer coaches. Sure. So, um, when you are in Emerald and you hit success club, um, Beachbody will assign you free customers. Um, and that's based on people who just go to Beachbody teambeachbody.com and they just sign up. They don't have any affiliation with a coach. Um, they don't choose a coach when they sign up. And so um, depending on how many people sign up that month and how many people have hit success club, you'll, you might get anywhere from like, you know, one or two to, I don't know, I think one month I got like six or seven, like it was a good month, I guess. Um, and so if you hit success club five, you get free leads. And if you hit success club 10, you get Shakeology leads, which is people who sign up for Shakeology home direct. So then you don't get success club points for them, but you do get their recurring Shakeology order. And so then you have the opportunity to engage with these people. And if they're, you know, a free lead and they haven't bought Shakeology, you know, you can always upgrade them to a challenge pack within 30 days if they've just done Beachbody on demand or, you know, it's, it's, they're there. It's, you as their coach can reach out to them um, and connect with them and build a relationship and, you know, become a coach to them. And so it's basically like free customers. So what I'd started doing was I would send emails to people who um, were my, you know, free customers. And I got, you know, like maybe one or two people responded. Um, but then Amy and I were talking and she said she was having some good success sending out text messages. And so it's like, well, you know, what the hell, like <laughs> I should probably be doing that too. Um, so I started sending out text messages, um, and I had, um, three people actually respond to me, um, from like 
when I sent out all these text messages like a couple of weeks ago. And, um, you know, some of them are interested in Shakeology. One, one girl is a, actually, it's funny, like another girl, I, she found me on Instagram and she's in the UK. And so I hadn't like sent her a text message, but I'd sent her an email and she found me on Instagram and like, she messaged me. Um, and I didn't even see her message. It was crazy. Um, but anyway, so she's in the UK and like, she's, you know, interested in what we do and even coaching, like it's all, it's just, you know, when you're out there, you're putting yourself out there, you're following up with people, like people are going to see what you do and, and want to do what you do. But, um, like the, so sending out text messages, um, is just another way, you know, and it makes it personalized, um, you know, so that you, you are reaching out to them. And I've even sent out an email and then followed it up with a text and said, Hey, my name is Alana Williams. I just sent you an email. I'm your free beach body coach. Um, you know, let me know if you have any questions after reading the email. I'd love to talk, you know, something simple like that. Um, so just another way to connect with people. Um, anybody, Amy? I think it's like just really important just to reiterate, um, you know, like what Amber said, sometimes I used to get in the habit of like sending a message and like looking at my phone and looking and seeing who had opened my message and then inventing these elaborate stories in my head of like why they hadn't responded to me. And it was, it was all these like, oh my gosh, like they're thinking like I'm, I'm crazy or whatever. And, and like more often than not, it's just like Amber said, people open these up and then they get distracted or whatever and your message gets pushed down or they you know like they mean to reply but they want more time to think and then your message gets pushed down and um just it's just so important not to get lost in our head of thinking like why aren't they replying um most people in this world are nice and they're not immediately jumping to these th like most people are just nice but busy and um a they just appreciate a little follow-up because they're all human and we're busy and things get pushed down. And so just don't be afraid to send that. Um, and don't assume that they're not replying because they're, you know, they don't want to, it, it just could be so simple that, um, that your, your message just got pushed down on their list and they forgot because we're all human and, and, you know, it's not a big deal to them yet, but it really could be, it could be like life changing for them. So yeah, I just wanted to reiterate that. Like, don't stare at your list and assume like, oh my gosh, they read it and they're not interested because maybe they read it and they, or maybe their kid opened it. My kids have done that, opened my messages and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> so that's all. Um, I did want to, um, does anybody else have anything to add relating to our topic tonight? No? no. Okay. Um, I did, if Alana, if you don't mind, I did want to talk about our little uh, challenge group sneak peek idea that we had, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, go ahead. We've got seven minutes. Okay, I won't make it that long. Um, so I was toying around the other night with different challenge group ideas, and um, I was looking at training on coaching sneak peeks, and I was like, well, shoot, we have some people that they're even wary to try like a free group uh, because it's like too long or they're just like nervous and, and they're afraid things are going to be salesy or whatever. So they are really like standoffish. So I decided why not uh, try out a, um, a challenge group sneak peek. Um, so it'll be a seven day group. And what we're going to do is we're going to put together packets. And if any of you guys put members, uh, anybody into the groups, um, it'll be in like a file section on like Google Drive that you guys can use. But uh, we're going to come up with a group of uh, workout programs that can be a week long, whether they were already that way, like Sean Week or um, Clean Week or anything like that, or um, like the first week of a program, like the yoga programs that we have. Um, but we're going to put together packets and basically you'll talk with your customers, see what their goals are, see what their interests are, pick a program with them that you think would work out uh, really well for them. And then they'll get a welcome packet that basically um, welcomes them to the group, tells them what program you guys have chosen, how to um, get it into it um, on Beachbody On Demand. Um, they will sign up for the 14 day free trial. So that's going to be part of the, um, part of that program, um, or part of that challenge group. Um, so how to sign up, how to go into BOD, 
um, how to access their nutrition plans, um, kind of give them that stuff we give during prep week of challenge group without actually having a prep week. Um, and then um, we'll have seven days pre-made out of um, the like hot topic stuff that we usually do during challenge groups, like the best of the best. So that way they can kind of get like a miniature version of what our challenge groups are like. And then after that, if they're interested in getting a challenge pack, then you move them into your paid group. And then if they are not interested and they still have, they still want to think about it a little bit longer, then they can go into your free group if you, if you have a free group. But I think it would be, um, the, the hard thing with free groups is that if they're not, if they're doing their own workouts and they're not drinking the Shakeology and they're not doing all that stuff, they're getting the benefits of having the group atmosphere, but they don't understand what they're missing with Shake or with a uh, beach body. So by doing this sneak peek, you're kind of getting them their foot in the door with the workouts. So they can see how amazing our nutrition plans are and how amazing our, uh, you know, our uh, programs themselves are, um, and then spark that interest that way before you're even talking about Shakeology. And then there will be an option. We'll, we'll give them um, a page as well on the benefits of Shakeology and how they can order that as, as well. But we want to do this every month. So it'll basically be the exact same, exact same program um, every month. Um, what I'm talking about, uh, paid versus free groups. So some coaches, and I've dabbled with this a little bit, um, they have groups that you have to have a challenge pack um, to be a part of. Um, there's other paid groups where it's, you have to be drinking Shakeology to be part of it. So you might not have bought a challenge pack, but you might be a Shakeology HD customer. Um, and they require that in their challenge groups. And the reason they do that is um, part of uh, what some of these coaches advertise is, you know, losing like, like you'll hear Carl, Dyke, uh, Carl say it a lot, um, lose five to 15 pounds in three weeks from home, you know, using our programs. It's really unfair for us to advertise that if they're not actually using the programs in the Shakeology. So some coaches require it and those are called paid groups. And then free groups or any of the other groups that you're doing where you don't really require anything of your customers that just that they participate. But anybody can, um, the whole point that I was bringing that up for was um, anybody that's on tonight, anybody on our teams, um, if you guys want and you've got customers that are interested, you can advertise for it. I'm going to set everything up. So all you got to do is just, uh, no problem, Christina. Um, all you got to do is just funnel them in and uh, we'll uh, take care of if anybody wants to help post. Um, it's going to be super easy because it's really going to be the same seven posts um, each time. There really should not be a customer in that group more than once, um, seeing as that they're doing the free trial. Um, so it's going to be super, super easy. But we'd like to try it out for a couple months and see if it helps kind of get people pushed more towards the challenge back. Awesome. Thank you. Um, well, we are winding down on our time. Um, Amber, thank you for covering that. And I'm really excited. Amber comes up with the best groups, by the way, everybody. She's like the brains behind all of these awesome groups. <laughs> um, so does anybody have any questions or anything? Um, we've got like two minutes. If anybody has any questions, if you want to, you're welcome to ask or ask in the chat um, before we wrap up. Nope. Hold on, let me scroll through and see if anybody's flailing their arms. No, nope. okay. Great, well thank you all so much for jumping on tonight. Um, I love having so many people on because for a long time it was like me talking to myself and recording, so this is really awesome. <laughs> Um, so thank you all and, um, you're all welcome again next week. We'll do the same time, same place, 815 Eastern, and I will share the link. Um, so everybody have a great night.